crafty family. We are at a little cabin in the woods this weekend and it's really early in the morning. <laughs> but I thought it might be kind of fun to share with you guys the sorts of things that I pack into a crochet kit when I know I'm going to be crocheting by the campfire. <laughs> so this is my secret weapon right here. I have a little plastic bin, it's not a big one, it's small enough to fit in my lap or to sit at my feet in front of me or next to me if I'm in a folding chair. Nothing fancy about it, it doesn't have a super tight fitting lid, but it is plastic and there's no holes in the bottom so that I can plug it down on the ground and if it's dirty or gravelly or a little uneven, it doesn't really matter and if I need to wipe the bottom off before I put it back in the car to take it home, it's easy. The difference between this and, say, my crochet bag or any of the bags I have that have little feet on them is that they might get dirty, they might get kicked over, they might get uh, dirt tossed on them. This is just so easy to wipe down and wash that I prefer using it when I go out camping uh, than one of my bags. Plus the lid's handy, it can act like a little tray. You can plunk it in your lap and you can put stuff like your scissors and your little uh, yarn needle, things that might want to roll away, you can put on the tray in your lap. The rest of it is pretty much normal, with one small difference. I do have my little work in progress with me here. But, the other day when we told you guys about all the works in progress I had during one of our live stream parties, I took the opportunity after the party to unravel a lot of them and ball them all up into balls of yarn. So I've put a lot of yarn back into my stash. But there's a difference between this yarn and brand new yarn. Because I've already sort of worked with this yarn and tried to put it into something, when I take it all apart again, I kind of keep it in a separate area because this is just for me. I either use it for experimenting or I use it to make things that I'm going to use around the house. Um, there's nothing wrong with the yarn, it's just that if I was going to make something brand new for someone else, I'd want to use brand new yarn. So. I have a whole bunch of these balls that I <laughs> took apart my other works in progress with. And because these were already sitting around worked into something that I wasn't using, I don't feel bad about bringing this yarn with me when I go camping. So if it gets a little bit smelly, like from campfire, or maybe one of the balls falls on the ground and rolls away, it's okay because I'm just using it for experimenting and the kinds of things I'm making at the campfire <laughs> aren't really for anyone in particular or um, they're just more for experimenting or keeping my fingers busy. And I kind of like to have a bunch of colors with me when I go out, just in case I have an idea that I want to see in different colors. Everything else is pretty standard. I've got um, a little, um, what is this, a pencil case. It's got some of my crochet hooks, an extra pair of knitting needles, my scissors, all of my little tools. I keep in a little tiny zippered pouch that's kind of rough. Again, if it gets a little dusty or a little cabin smelling, it's okay because I can toss it in the wash when I get home. And it's a big enough bin. I can bring one of my journals and a pen. So if I have some ideas or I want to scribble down a pattern or some notes or something, I've got that with me too. And because I'm using the lid of the box as my little desktop, I can invert it, lay down my book, and make some notes and everything is right here in front of me and it's not going to get dirty and if it does I can wipe it off. A couple of more things you might want to consider having with you if you're crocheting by the campfire which typically means in the dark. A light up crochet hook. <laughs> These are kind of neat to have um, so if you do have one in your collection you might want to bring that with you. Also a flashlight. Very useful to have, um, not just for getting back and forth between the campfire and wherever your cabin might be, but in case you drop something, <laughs> you might want to be able to look for it. And one more thing, hand wipes. You can make your own or you can have some that are pre-bought. It's nice to have some hand wipes available just to wipe down your surface, wipe down your hook, or possibly even wipe down your hands if you're busy handling firewood or um, dirty things <laughs> while you're sitting at the campfire. So those are just some little extras you might want to stick in your kit. All right, well, I'm going to go put on the coffee and uh, wake everybody up. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.